In Maine, suicide is the second leading cause of death for people ages 10 to 34. And experts say our adolescents are struggling more than ever as we come off more than two solid years of a pandemic. A family in Brunswick is still trying to find their way out of the crushing heartbreak of losing their son. About a year and a half ago, Jay Smith went to wake his son Spencer when his school called to say he hadn't logged into his Zoom classroom yet. And what he found changed Jay and his wife forever. New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry shares their story. I wish he knew the pain that he was going to cause us by that decision he made. Spencer Smith was a student at Brunswick High School when he took his life. He wrote a note to his family explaining his decision, writing that the pandemic made him feel isolated. He missed his football team, and he didn't want to work a dead-end job for the rest of his life. Unfortunately, when they shut down America, they shut off our kids. His dad, Jay, spoke to me right after Spencer's death in 2020 and again last month. He says the pain never leaves. Well, we find ourselves we're never happy. Even when we're happy, we're still sad. Along with the sadness comes a realization for Jay that there is so much more to life, and he wants kids and teenagers to know that. Everything that you think is important as a teenager in high school, you realize once you're out of high school, that's not important. Just down the road from the Smith's home in Brunswick is the Midcoast Youth Center and Skate Park. I never met Spencer. I knew his dad. We grew up together. Jamie Dore runs the Youth Center and Skate Park. The skate park has been around for a while, but the youth center is just about eight years old. It was because we lost uh, young people to suicide that we had watched grow up at, here at the Bath Skate Park. Um, and it was really a call to action for me that we need to be doing more. Dor has been supporting young people and their mental health for years. She says she sees mental health challenges pop up all the time. She adds many kids are dealing with some level of anxiety or depression, which is why she and her team do their best to remind the kids that they are safe at the youth center and they can talk to and trust the adults there. Dor says the kids take them up on that often. So the first thing we do, um, practical wise, we offer them a glass of water and we're in a quiet place and we usually have two staff members that are there. From there, she and her staff address the situation. They call the crisis hotline if necessary or bring the person in need to the emergency department if they need that care. Other times they bring in parents and have really hard but important conversations. Her goal is helping young people navigate really challenging things that we face in, in the world today. Jay Smith applauds Dor for all the work she does for kids in the community and says to any young person thinking about suicide. Definitely not worth it. Um, you're thinking about yourself right now, stop. Um, think about your family. He says you may not feel it, but there are people who love you and you don't even know how much they need you. He wonders if his son would have realized that it could have changed everything. If only he knew how much we needed him. And um, how much the whole family needed him.